hello everyone welcome to biotech notebook in this video we are going to see the basic aspects of non-ideal flow okay. when we study about ideal reactors such as plug flow reactor batch reactor and continuous strip tank reactor okay we have seen two flow patterns plug flow and mixed flow okay. in plug flow reactor reactant enter at one end and uh, your product mixture withdrawn at the other end and when we talk about mixing at any point there will be a lateral mixing only in the direction of y axis and there is no mixing takes place along the length of the tube that is in x axis direction so there is no axial mixing this flow is known as plug flow okay in continuous strip tank reactor there will be a continuous entering of a reactant and withdrawing of your product from the reactor and there will be complete mixing inside the reactor so this is known as mixed flow okay in batch reactor it is a closed system here also you have a complete mixing inside the reactor but here once the reactor enters after a particular time of interval you will take out the product batch reactor also you have mixed flow that is you have complete mixing inside the reactor okay so in plug flow there is no axial mixing and in mixed flow you have complete mixing of your reactants inside the reactor but real equipments or reactors always deviate from these ideal flow patterns why because one or many of these factors may deviate the ideal flow and it causes the non-ideal flow patterns so the causes of non-ideal flow patterns are creation of stagnant regions or dead zones in the vessel bypassing or short circuiting of the fluid channeling of fluid recycling of fluid or it may be due to turbulent mixing and molecular diffusion inside the reactor then we have to avoid these types of non-ideal flow patterns in all types of process equipment such as heat exchanger packer column and reactors because it always lowers the performance of the unit okay it reduces the conversion of your reactant into the product if later in this video we will discuss about these factors then let's see the factors which make up these contacting or flow patterns or rtd of the fluid that is residence time distribution of the fluid flowing through the vessel then the state of application of fluid then earliness and lateness of fluid mixing in the vessel first let's see about residence time distribution First, let's see what is residence time so residence time is nothing but the time it takes a molecule to pass through a reactor is called the residence time of a molecule in the vessel so how much time a molecule is spending inside the reactor is known as residence time the condition of ideal reactor is the residence time should be same for all the molecules okay then in ideal reactors only ideal plug flow and ideal batch reactors are the only two classes of reactors in which all the fluid elements in the reactors have the same residence time okay so if you consider ideal plug flow here the fluid has uniform velocity it is we have flat velocity profile so all the molecules present in the fluid have same residence time okay for example if you consider residence time as five minutes in ideal plug flow reactor all the molecules to pass through the reactor takes the time as five minutes in batch reactor you take all the reactants inside the reactor and you will allow five minutes for the reactant to complete the reaction so after five minutes you will take out all the product okay so here you all the molecules will have the same residence time so in these ideal plug flow and ideal batch reactors are the only two classes of reactors in which all the fluid elements in the reactor have the same residence time okay but in non-ideal reactors the molecules own have the same residence time so you have to calculate the residence time distribution why because in non-ideal reactors the elements of fluid taking different routes or paths through the reactor okay so it take a different length of time to pass through the reactor there is a different length of time so there is a distribution of residence time of the fluid material within the reactor let's see non-ideal flow pattern in packed bed reactor okay when a reactor is packed with catalyst okay the reacting fluid usually does not flow uniformly through the reactor it won't flow uniformly through the reactor as like in the ideal plug flow reactor why because here there may be a little resistance to flow by the catalyst 
okay the catalyst offer little resistance to the flow of your fluid so due to this resistance offered by catalyst there may be a channeling of fluid in this diagram you have two path okay this is one type and there is one another type of path of flowing fluid this is your path one in this path the catalyst offer little resistance to the flow because here catalyst or loosely packed so it gives very less resistance to the flow of the fluid so here the fluid spend very less time in the reactor okay the molecules following this pathway do not spend much time in the reactor and see in the see this pathway 2 here catalyst offer more resistance to the flow because here catalyst or tightly packed so it gives more resistance to the flow of the fluid so here your molecules will spend much time than this path one okay so there is a residence time distribution among the molecules in the vessel okay so we can see that there is a distribution of times that molecule spend inside the reactor when it in contact with the catalyst next let's see non-ideal flow pattern in stirred tank reactors non-ideal reactors that is uh, for example real stirred tank reactor you have dead zones so these dead zones are formed by deposition of reactant or products at the corners of the vessel or behind the baffles as we know that in ideal CSTR there should be a uniform concentration throughout the reactor if dead zones appears in the reactor then there won't be uniform concentration distribution inside the reactor because here there will be more concentration of your reactant in the dead zone okay so it leads to the non-ideality and the second condition is bypassing or short circuiting of the fluid okay in bypassing or short circuiting means once the reactant enters inside the reactor it won't flow all through the reactor it will come out immediately from the reactor so the molecules will spend very less time inside the reactor if it come out early so this phenomenon is known as bypassing or short circuiting of the fluid then in plug flow reactor there may be a longitudinal mixing that is there may be a mixing along the flow path that is axial mixing it is due to turbulent mixing or molecular diffusion okay so turbulent mixing and molecular diffusion causes uh, longitudinal or axial mixing in the reactor so it deviates from the ideal flow and it causes the non-ideality the next one is state of aggregation of the flowing stream okay so two extreme state of aggregation of the flowing material is based upon its nature okay the nature of the fluid is of two type one is microfluid and another one is macrofluid based upon the nature of fluid you may have ideal flow or non ideal flow so microfluid microfluid means here individual molecules are free to move and intermix okay so here example for microfluids are gases and ordinary fluids that is not very viscous fluids and macrofluids so my macrofluid fluids molecules are kept grouped together in aggregates or packets so here molecules are moving in the form of packets or aggregates not individual molecules are moving inside the reactor flows as a aggregates or packets so example non coalescing droplets solid particles then very viscous liquids then third one is early and late mixing of fluid okay. fluid elements of a single flowing stream can mix with each other early or late in their flow through the vessel okay. so there are three conditions here first condition early mixing and second condition there is a uniform mixing throughout the reactor and third condition it's a late mixing so first let's see early mixing so early in early mixing lots of mixing takes place at the early stage so lots of mixing of young and old fluids then in the at the end of the tube there is no mixing flat velocity profile you have second condition you have uniform mixing so same along the whole vessel in the third condition the late mixing no mixing of young and old fluids at the initial stage and the contents are well mixed at the end of the tube okay so this factor that is early and late mixing of fluid have little effect on overall behavior for a single flowing fluid okay if you have a system with two entering reacting stream then this mixing is that is the early or late mixing or uniform mixing is very important it plays a crucial role 
in your system okay so first this is the condition for early mixing okay so in early mixing we are mixing of your reactant a and b at the entry so a and b have lots of time for reaction so this is the system with late mixing okay here in the at entry you have separate parallel flows of reactant a and b here there is no mixing of a and b so a so a and b unable to react there is no reaction occurs at the entry okay and the mixing occurs only at the exit okay so there is no time for reaction okay so mixing plays a crucial role in getting a complete conversion thank you thank you for watching my videos